I'll show you how to put a Honda carburetor on with chopsticks. If you've ever put one of these carburetors on with these bolts, you know how difficult it is. It's really difficult to get all the gaskets on and put it into to help place. To get everything lined up, just take the chopsticks and push them into the threads nice and tight. Do this on both bolt holes. Now you've got something to hang all the parts on with. Make sure the parts are in their correct orientation and just set them into place. You see a breather hole here and on now the you gasket. Can take your time and make sure all the pieces are going on correctly. You've got the carburetor with the gasket on here. Without all these sticks, it's hard to get everything lined up on this thing. Push it everything into place. We'll add the carburetor gasket on. Chopsticks are a little thinner at this end so it makes everything a little easier to line. We'll add in our linkages to the carburetor. We can pull out the chopsticks a little bit and then rotate it to get the linkage in. The carburetor needs to go sideways to do this. We'll add in that little spring. Put the chopsticks back in. You can see you've got plenty of room and everything's organized. Got plenty of room to put the fuel line back into place. We'll assemble this plate to put the bolt in. You can see how much visibility and control you have with these pegs on here. We'll add back our governor spring. That's a lot easier without that big air box in the way. We'll add the auto choke to the other side of this black lever. If we give a little pressure, you can see how all that fits in. With the lever of that auto choke, you can see that it'll control the, the choke. The air box gasket in make place. Make sure the air holes are all the same way. We'll make sure the shims didn't fall out of the air box. There's three of them on there. Now, without fighting anything, we can put the air box. And without too much fighting, we'll put the tube in place. Breather tube is in place. We have our bolt ready. We'll pull this first chopstick out and insert it all into we place. Can thread everything in by hand. Make sure the thread's going correctly. We'll snug it up just a little bit. Everything lined up. We'll pull the chopstick. Put out. the other bolt in. Everything's lined Push up. It all the way through. Start to tighten it up. Tighten up the bolts nice and even. Put the bolt in to secure the air box. Make sure the choke linkage works. Place the air filter. Snap the cover back on. That's how you put a Honda carburetor on with chopsticks.